Hi Cancer, welcome to February. So last month we did a lot of stuff with like which chakras do you need to know about and your lucky days and your unlucky days and your crystal of the month and your color energy and I still want to get you all that information. I just haven't decided how I'm going to do it. I wanted to keep these videos a little shorter this month because um, I also want to try to find some time to do love readings for February since it's Valentine's Day. Um, so anyway, I haven't decided if I will put that information out via video, via Facebook, or through my website. So if um, you haven't already signed up on my website to win the free monthly video, or the free monthly video reading that I give away every month, then um, that might be something you want to do because then if I do create this in like an email format, you'll get that. Um, if you don't already follow on Facebook, that might be another good option. I just haven't decided where I'm going to put it yet. So anyway, let's just get started. We're going to do these readings this month the way that we um, historically have done them and kind of just pull cards and see what the energies are for the month. But I do want to tell you your um, lucky days and unlucky days for February. Your unlucky day is the 5th and your luckiest day is the 7th. So both early in the month. So that's why I wanted to get that information out right away. Okay, Cancer, February, what's going on for you? And they're saying Eight of Swords in reverse. So this is an interesting energy. Um, if you can see, like this person is like a little bit stressed out, okay? And they're saying the goal here is not to be stressed, not to be paranoid. Um, and that's kind of your vibe. But the problem with that is like, okay, is this apathy though? Because that's not where we want to be. Shit might be a little unbalanced, okay? Your reality, like in your day-to-day -day life, your work-life balance, you know, balancing friendships um, with your boyfriend, you know, finding time for this and that. Time is often one of the things that is imbalanced. It could be the amount of um, exercise that you're doing versus the amount of time that you're resting, whatever. But what they're saying is that this is um, not helping you at all. It's just wrong for you this month that you need to find that chill time. And I don't know how many of you saw the video that I just put out um, right before your, your video. Say, and it said attention, you know, Cancer, Libra, Sagittarius, Aries, a couple other signs. A lot of you have no chill this month and you need to. And um, But for Cancer specifically, it was saying, you might just want to go back and watch it, but it was saying you can't force the chill, okay? You have to create an environment, a space, in order to be able to relax instead of just telling yourself, I'm relaxing, okay? Because that's a resistance energy that is not actually going to do the trick for you. Now, they're saying this energy might persist for a while. You might have a very busy February as far as, like, work goes or obligations, paperwork, family, you know, friendships, all this stuff. It might be very busy for you and very challenging in that regard. It's not bad, but it is something that you need to work on and focus on um, before you crash and burn. So what they're saying here is like you can't just keep giving of yourself and giving of yourself and giving of yourself. Um, you need to be a little bit more careful of where you're giving your time, your energy, your love, your money, all of that stuff. You might have been um, a little bit too generous with that stuff. And this month you might want to hold back a little bit, okay? Um, what they're saying is if you're able to figure out where to say no and where to stop giving, you know, over giving, you're going to find a lot of happiness and contentment th this month. This might be a really wonderful kind of like happily ever after type of month for you where you're just overflowing with joy by the time that the end of February comes around. But that really depends on you and how are you going to bring things back into balance? You know, um, who are the people that you want to give to? You know, do I want to keep continuing to give so much at my job if, you know, if I quit, they just replace me right away? Like, am I getting bonuses based on my hard work and effort kind of a thing? Like, how much am I giving in response to how much I'm getting back? And they're saying that you need more rest. And so this is very – it's – it's one of these things this month where it's like you have to do this. You have to set boundaries. You have to set limits. You have to decide for yourself, you know, where what what's going to give here because you're going too hard too fast. Um, what else is up for February? So, I mean, if you're able to figure that out, 
the blessing is that there's a lot of happiness and joy and contentment for you um, as February comes to a close. But a lot of you are just not, not going to feel real awesome if you don't figure that out. Um, what else in February for Cancers? And like I said, I'm going to ignore the love specific aspect uh, because I'm going to try to put videos out for that. And so they're saying there might not be a lot of enthusiasm um, in, you know, having to talk to people and having to deal with them and going places. It's cold outside, at least where I live. So that might be part of the battle there. But they're saying a lot of things you're just kind of like, I don't want to. I just don't feel like it. And it's okay to express that. Maybe you have an obligation. Maybe you made dinner plans with somebody. It's okay to say, you know what? I'm just really tired. It's not about you. I don't feel like it, and I'm not going to go. <laughs> totally okay, Cancer. Don't feel guilty. Don't feel bad about it. They're saying that if you're not able to do this, you're also you're not going to be able to, to kind of propel yourself in the direction in which you want to head. Like I said, you're going to crash and burn, okay? So with the chariot here... Um, all of these butterflies represent change, okay? And so positive changes, all these things that you're trying to manifest with the law of attraction and everything, you see how his hands are like, so he's getting all this energy from source. And then he's like applying that to ground into his reality. They're saying that doesn't happen. It's in reverse. That doesn't happen if you can't set those limits for yourself this month. Okay. Um, they're saying, you know, you don't even have to make excuses either. So I just said, you know, you can tell people like, nope, I, I can't do this. I'm too tired. You don't even have to do that. You can just say, no, nope, no, nope, I have to cancel. Sorry. Sorry about it. That's it. That's all you got to do. Um, they're saying, you know, ultimately, you are not responsible for anyone else's feelings except for your own. You can't control how other people feel, what other people do, how other people act. The only thing you can control is your own energy, and that's what you're tasked with this month. They're saying, like, your energy is not really going to be working for you in order to achieve the things that you want to manifest, the things that you want into your reality this month, if you can't set those limits. And they're saying also that... Um, you're going to continue to feel unstable until you learn this lesson. So it's going to be something that perpetuates again and again and again. It's one of those cycles, you know, where those lessons keep popping up over and over. Um, you're like, okay, well, you know, after this, when I just finish this, I'm going to be in this happy place. Like, I'm going to be content. Things will be stable. Once this happens, then things will be stable. Things will be good. That goalpost is going to continually be moving until you learn how to say no, until you learn how to stop over giving, okay? Um, that place of contentment, stability, like nourishment, where things are just easy is a lot closer than you think should you figure out how to assert your boundaries and to say no and to not over give, okay? Um, is there anything else cancers need to know generally for February? And they're just saying you're not really um, – going to really find this energy where, you know, there's a lot of enthusiasm and love behind what you're doing until that stops. Like any of this like deep feeling love, any of these feelings of like romance and harmony and joy, those things are not near to you until you learn this lesson either. Um, and this is just going to be what happens again and again and again. You're going to keep seeing that goalpost moving until you figure that out. And so, it's very important in February that you do. Okay, so they're saying creativity is going to be important for you. This might be a way for you to relax, actually. And if you ever get in the flow of something creative, right, whether that is cleaning your house where you just, like, get in that zone or when you're if you're writing, if you're painting, whatever it is, um, this is actually spirit working through you to kind of cleanse you. And it clears away a lot of our fear, a lot of our negativity, but it also gives us great insight. We're um, a lot more psychic when we're, in the, when we're in the flow of things. That's why, like, you know, you could be washing your windows with Windex and be, like, super in the groove of cleaning and all of a sudden have an epiphany. This is why, because spirit is working through you and that happens. So doing something, um, whether it's gardening, whatever it is, whatever makes you feel creative as though you're creating something, whether that's a clean space or whatever, um, 
that's going to be very important for you to really embrace and do this month. It'll be relaxing for you and also very calming in its own way. And so they say as you create um, something, as you immerse yourself into creative processes, uh, you want to be working towards a goal that'll make you proud, that'll make you feel good, that it's completed. But then um, an affirmation that goes along with this is creative energy flows to every part of my body, boosting my health and my sense of contentment. So you're going to find a lot of peace and relaxation just by doing something creative. Even though it might seem like a distraction to your goal, it actually helps you achieve the goals, the things that you want. So another affirmation with that is, I let the creative flow embrace and inspire me as well as the people around me. So this could also benefit your relationships as well with others. So what else do we have here? Um, so they're saying that you're not necessarily speaking your passions aloud and um, you're not doing like the best job communicating what it is that you love. And as we know, like in trying to achieve things, to draw things into our life that we love so we can feel more joy, um, we've got to kind of speak them into existence. And so that's important for you to do this month. They also say that... Um, You've got to be on your own this month a little bit that you might be overbooked, like I said, uh, with friends or family members, different social engagements with work. And so they're saying this will help you to regain self-esteem and tranquility. Those are things that are uh, sort of lacking for you this month until you really decide that you're going to take hold and uh, grasp those. And I just pulled the same exact thing again. So that's a very important message for you. And so they're saying, you know, um, remember that changing things is a way to kind of, sh you know, shed a skin, an old way of being and doing things. And so um, if you see red squirrels out, if you see squirrels out, kind of remember that this is a animal message for you saying that this is a good way to gather resources for yourself now that will sustain you as changes kind of fall into place. And so, you know, focusing on your own health, peace, tranquility, and like solitude to kind of get everything in um, good order and, you know, so you can feel content will help you in the next coming months, okay? Because, you know, if you don't get enough sleep, you don't do your best work anyway, you know? If you don't have enough rest, if you don't have time to recharge, you're working, you know, maybe twice as many hours on something. You're exerting a lot of energy into something, but only at 50% effectiveness. So they're saying pay attention to your body, okay? They want you to think about what your body requires that it didn't get, and that might be sleep for some of you. Um, they're saying listen, observe, and pay attention to your physical, emotional, mental, and psychological stressors. So you do want to kind of take that moment of tranquility for yourself. You could do this in the bath. I Oh, my goodness. I saw a Groupon or something goofy for, like, this saltwater pool that you can float in. And it, it, this is like very similar imagery. Um, that might be something interesting, like very meditative. And anyway, they respond, they say you need to respond to one of those stressors, to one of those things, whether that's, you know, a mindset, like I said, a psychological thing, a physical thing, an emotional issue, and just fully and consciously respond to that. And then pay attention to your body in every way. So, for example, if you're feeling a lot of anxiety, energy, if your chest is kind of, if your heart's pounding, you want to say, okay, I acknowledge this anxiety feeling. I'm thankful that my awareness is being called to the fact that I need to chill the fuck out. And I give you permission to now calm and release. And that's it. You can do that with anything in your body. You get butterflies in your stomach. Ooh, thank you for helping me to remember you know, what exactly my fears are in this situation, I'm going to address whether those are rational or not, whether this is benefiting me or not. I'm ready to release that and to find my confidence, okay? So these are the kind of exercises that you're going to want to do for yourself this month. Um, I look forward to speaking more about your month with you and uh, talk to you soon. 
video and getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, click here. If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20 minute video uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!